couple more minutes. Yeah. Oh. And uh, so today, uh, Tuesday, August 8th, 2023, at 6.35 p.m., uh, calling the bike county citizen of, sorry, City of Camby Bicycle and Pedestrian Citizen Advisory Committee uh, to order. Um, and first of all, um, introductions. I know that most of us know each other, but I think we have. We have, I, we have each other. Yeah. You guys introduce <laughs> each other. Great, thank you. Okay, and so welcome all. Thank you for taking the time to be here. And, um, so, any corrections to the minutes from last time? Well, I feel really good because I waited over months to write it. <laughs> <laughs> I kept putting it off, you know. I'll put it off until next week, and then the next week, and finally, I better print. It's so working from like horrible notes. I move the minutes be uh, approved as written. Okay. Is there a second? Awesome. Thank you. Any further discussion? Otherwise, uh, any opposed? Otherwise, approved? That's all. Uh, okay. And uh, the minutes approved as written. Um, and then we will start right off with a uh, staff and council update. So I will throw it over to Emma and um, uh, Council Person Maldonado. You want to take it out? Uh, oh, actually, yeah. I, we have currently in the budget right now uh, for the long term improvements um, for 25. So we're just kind of finalizing and picking up the numbers right now to make it work. So, and I'm, I'm sorry. I have a hearing impairment. Sure. I didn't catch exactly what you said. For the logging trail uh, bridge improvements. Oh yeah. So that way it's going to it's going to include the pathway down to 99. Okay. We're just we're just beating up the numbers right now, trying to get everything in order to where it's going to work out well. Yeah. You know, uh, obviously we want to save the city some money, but we don't want to do it at the cost of one. And what's the amount? That uh, right so now, I believe the current amount was uh, one million, not one million. One point nine. Yeah, I believe so. Is that going to be on both sides in ninety nine? I think so. Yes, I, I, was, I haven't seen the rendering, but I, I believe it was discussed that it's going to be on both sides. That's exciting. Yeah, that's. Uh, right. also, also, on top of that, we do have in the works the Pine Street uh, adjustment as well. Uh, so oh, yeah. that, that way we can bypass this, the intersection that's right there at the fairgrounds. We're, not, we're working on getting that bypass as well. So where that comes out, I believe, is where the uh, logging trail bridge is going to come down and link up to for the pathway. So, so we have the approaches that are part of the logging road yes. now, and then there's the connection to 99E. And that's planned for both sides. I believe so. I can get you. I can get you better knowledge uh, from tomorrow, and we'll have a, a better understanding of exactly what it's going to tell. Right now, we're trying to get the numbers in for, or the numbers right before we need an actual yeah. diagram and schematic. So, that one to so the existing uh, connection between Pine right right by the uh, museum mm -hmm. is going to change. That is going to change. Yes. How we, we are not sure yet. They haven't brought it to us yet. Because one thing to think about just extending fourth over the line. Is that how they what they were extending? Uh, right? That was talked about several years ago. Okay, I'm not sure if they've included it or if that's what's going to be included in this. Of course, there's a business building in the way. For, for yeah, that they, and that's and they were talking about they didn't want to explain how they were going to do it yet because there were so many parties involved in it and so many owners involved in it. So we'll know something within the next few weeks. On the, on the pine side of it. I can get you more information on the logging trail tomorrow. And I think, at least early on, I, it was my understanding that the 99E connection was just going to be on the um, I, I could have misheard it. However, yeah. uh, I could have misheard that, but I want to make sure that I did. Yeah. 
And because I'm really hoping that they got both sides so they can just make more sense. Yeah. And in the end, you know, if they could make kind of a nice confluence with what's going to happen with that intersection and stuff, I would think a lot of that would be pending. Yeah. That We've had, we've had a lot of discussion about from the logging road down to 1980 to connect to downtown. Yeah. A good flow for it. Of course. Of course. And I think if we uh, if we connect to time, that's going to give the most fluid. Yeah. And especially with the event center, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. But I'll get, you, I'll get you more information on that. Um, I'll, I'll have more information on it tomorrow or next yeah. Wednesday. I'll figure it out. I'll be looking forward to it. And if there's anything from this committee that you know would be helpful, we're more than of course able to help. Yeah, of course. So, yeah. Yeah. so what should we call this? Like the Pine Street Logging Road Connection or something? Or well, how should it be referred to? Right now, it's referred to as a 99 uh, 99E Logging Trail Road uh, Connection. Yeah. That's what so, we have in the budget. Thank you. And then, any, any further update on the staff and council update? Um, let me think. I participated in the Clackamas County Walk Bike mm -hmm. Plan, I think they called it an agency workshop. Um, I was very interested to hear what they've got going on. I shared they didn't quite share like what at what level they want projects to be to be incorporated into the plan, but I shared with them the walking road, the Traverso extension, and the Emerald Necklace Trail plans for the maps of those and how to, the status of it. Did you you know the one of the thing I mean one of the things might also be the uh, territorial and holly improvements if yeah, that's so so my, this has been a little more involved in it so, just let them, and I finish it up so kind of how i did it was you know i think we have a group has discussed that but that's not an adopted plan in a sense oh, gotcha. and so that's kind of, i was only going off of things that have had adopted plans right. or been you know just yeah. brought to council and that sort of stuff so if we can get that in the TSP, then if there's some, you know, if there's some on their plan, then it can use it and say, hey, we'd like to add X, Y, and Z. And I did tell them, you know, the trails were the easiest because they were adopted via the parks, or, you know, have continued to be formalized and adopted yeah. via the parks master plan. TSP and so the TSP is, you know, and the vision. I don't know, I don't know what's in the old TSP that we have now, and it's fair. I, 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 uh, what uh, regarding the trails? Yes, they are all there. So they only you know, yeah. So I kind of tried to you know put in what basically has been support already, mm -hmm. uh, and did note to them that the traverse extension you know has been adopted, and but has its purpose. Trying to look what day? Uh, are you done? Yep. On the 26th, there was a walk bike uh, advisory committee meeting via Zoom, which I attended. Were you on that? No, no, I only attended the agency workshop. So, one thing that that was shocking to me was they had a list of projects. I think 25 that had top priority, and another priority below that. And they are all clustered in they had five regions. Basically the Milwaukee area and the Clackamas Town Center area. Okay. And Estacada, Law, Camby, the Stafford area. Got nothing. And I, I raised that as the concern. I said, you, you need if you're a urbanite, you got you're getting all the money and you're not gonna put any out in the county. But it's just fair distribution. Politically, this is not smart. And Scott Hosher, uh, and he's the county, the county liaison to this committee, and said, "Yes, this is a preliminary draft." And 
I see that as a real problem. And it sounded like they might need some changes. But uh, I mean, I agree that maybe the bulk should be in these two areas, but everything? Yeah. Yeah. Because there's, yeah, no more like issues happening. Uh, you know, it's probably the way the committee was formed and who's on it. Really? Do they have like a criteria that they're, you, you know, is it that like these yeah, are and they did gaps have, that they already have, you know? They were trying to improve connectivity. Was one. They, did have a, uh, they did have, have it, but I think that there was areas that certainly could have improved, like over in Stafford. Oh, gosh. You know, uh, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, I, th I thought there was a lot to be criticized in that list. You know, we should have done a sprinkling of the other areas. I mean, maybe two, year and two there, you know. But anyway, that's what I have to add to yeah. yeah, and when they pop that map up, it's pretty stark. And yeah. I mean, I do think that the number of, you know, the traffic uh, numbers count into it a lot, you know, the number of cars, the number of pedestrians, mm -hmm. and the number of bikes in the area, mm -hmm. and um, all that, but still, even for our in and around our schools and things like that, we should be given the yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you know, have they expressed a time, like, do they have a goal adoption date for that plan? Like, are they they do that already. Because yeah. it's possible that we might. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's hard yeah. to do this. Yeah. Well, maybe. I mean, I just blow an angle this way. And I don't know how you, you end with this. But I'll tell Herman, too, that one of the things we talk about often here is the lack of safe routes into and out of Canby for bicyclists. Mm -hmm. There virtually are none that we would call really safe. That's why we're so eager for the, you know, the traversal section to go all the way out, yeah. because it allows us to have a safe route. Because like today, we, my wife and I rode down to uh, Whiskey Hill store, and, and we always worry about going down Ivy and going around that curve, you know, where the tree is, mm -hmm. because cars, you know, we're going 50, 55, 60 there. Yeah. So it's always you grit your teeth and, and go mm -hmm. around it. And so you either have to haul your bikes out of town mm -hmm. to have some relatively safe riding or you take a chance, you know, that. Yeah. So that's that's a constant thing. That seems like that should, you know, talking about connectivity, we ought to be able to connect can be with Oregon City. Mm -hmm. There's no safe way, well, there's safe ways to get to Oregon City, but it's, Riding over the mountains. <laughs> yeah. And that's not even safe. No, that isn't safe because no, it's safe. There's no central place. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I, should, yeah. I shouldn't have said safe. But it lower traffic volume, but yeah, that's a lot, uh, the whole for safety is having a shoulder right. and two uh, and a lot of shoulders. And you know, very good visibility. Well, and I can say with where I live, just a couple miles from here, mm -hmm. I don't ride my bike into town anymore. There are so many trucks now, you know, with Columbia distributing there, there's so many trucks that go along the Haynes Road area. Mm -hmm. And even my road now, there's dump trucks and all kinds of trucks that go so down. Which road are you on? I live on Bremer Road, okay. um, just on just outside of town. And it's there's no shoulder on the road. It's really narrow. I heard that it's part of the county, it's on the county's plan to repave, but are they, and I talked to a couple of neighbors about this actually, who are really concerned that when they repave it, they're not gonna widen it, and there is room, it possibly could potentially be widened, um, but there's a lot of concern about that, and I have one neighbor who doesn't have a car, and she's slightly disabled, and she's getting a um, recumbent bicycle, but she's like, I'm afraid to go into town unless it's before 6.30 in the morning, because of the traffic. Mm -hmm and the narrowness of the road. And granted, like at one point it was very rural and most rural roads don't, you know, aren't really that amenable to bicycles, but then you add the traffic that's been happening and going to continue to increase. Yeah, you know, a couple of years ago, that where we 
pick blueberries. We didn't pick them all this year, but the, the woman there, they moved down from Snohomish to take over her rent of this farm. And her husband rode bikes all the time in Snohomish, and he said he wouldn't ride down there. They live they live uh, south of uh, 91 School. And he, he was, you know, I'm like, well, I've ridden down here, you know. <laughs> For caution to <laughs> right. I understand what he's saying, you know. Because well, he's used to riding you know, a bike path. That's your point. That, those are just roads that are. My, my wife and I, we don't ride bicycles regularly, but we ride our motorcycles. And going down some of these roads, even on, for us, it's it's pretty rough. I mean, especially with the increase in the, the bigger truck traffic, it's been really tough. So, And I've, I've spoken with uh, Jerry on a few things of it, because uh, they are coming. They're starting to come to neighborhoods, and uh, I mean, they were, shoot, just last week, we had a probably a 59 foot trailer come down right, right past our house on 5th. Why? Oh, jeez. I don't know, he turned right on Maple. Well, I think the thing is, is that you know, they just say, well, who's going who's gonna to stop me? Yeah. Well, I know their GPS tracking routes have not updated yet um, and for, for the new trucking routes so that we have within the city. But Columbia distribution has just been absolutely boring with it. And it's mostly their trucks. So I'm, I'm not sure who it is that I'm going to need to speak with about that. So I mean, that's something I'm going to be working on as well. And also, I mean, it, it probably will take some coordination <clears throat> with the county. Uh, you know, a lot of these are county roads that we need to uh, get across. What is the cut across supposed to be done? You know, yeah, the walnut. The walnut. The walnut tree. Yeah, yeah, walnut tree. Walnut tree. Walnut tree extension. We're still, it's still in the works as well. So also, there is an active transportation plan that um, of the city and that one for the county, and you know, for walking and biking, uh, active transportation uh, accommodation, and I'm thinking. You know, it's delineated in kind of a prioritized list. And Bremer was at one point one of the designated um, connections between Oregon City and Canby. Great. Right. Let's not pay that. <laughs> yeah. Keep the bombs. So <laughs> so for for active transportation for bikes and oh, not so that, that could <laughs> mean so. So maybe they what would have that to is, is when yeah it is possible, and so that's something that we should look at and review. So I've written it down here, and we should check that and remind people of those things to. Um, or go on township rather than grammar to get up to central point. Yeah. So and township is one of them, and but. I'm trying to remember how it all, I remember the discussion, where it all landed. Um, it's so right now on some of the points, I noticed a mailbox that has an anti-bicyclist sticker on it. <laughs> Great. Anti-bicyclist? Yes. Have a bicycle with it. Huh. They don't like bicycles. Well, I guess I'll never get Yeah, watch out. <laughs> Look, keep your eye out for it. Don't leave it. All the more reason to be a good citizen on, on the bike. So, you know. Well, you know, overwhelmingly, sure. most of the drivers are very, very nice. I mean, there are still the ones that feel like they want to get as close to you as they can as they go past 50. But, you know, today I know they're going to clear out the other lane, which is what I do. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then reminding your fellow riders to make sure they ride single yeah. file, things like that. I don't know. I like this next to if I on a bicycle and come up on my motorcycle, I'll try to race them. I'm going to stereo on my bike. That's where I can get next to it. Play, play hide the tiger for him. <laughs> so I'm just thinking um, for. Uh, the two, well, let's finish this up. Any further on um, staff and council updates? No, but I just have.
had a thought in regards to the county um, priority list. What level do you think that um, citizen input is, you know, is it just that like maybe we can kind of get more folks in county in the immediate area? Does, you know, does that move the needle a little bit? That's important. Yes, and I do know that I was going to bring it up on the county report, but this during the county fair, they're going to have a booth uh, with walk bike advisory committee staffing it, and that's a place in particular you can, yeah. and you know, take some so input. So maybe we could advertise that on the Facebook page, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Advertise that on the Facebook page or like you know, spread right. word around town a little bit somehow that would they be willing if, if anyone here would like to volunteer for it, they might even consider okay. I, I, I got a shift on I have a shift yeah. on I have to Should we gain up on that and pick a time and then we can just all go up there? Yeah. I have to sign up and we shift stuff, but we want to so much left to Saturday ten to two. Is that what's left? 10 to 2 on Saturday? Well, that's I about all Scott. I can do. So. I know. That's why I told Scott. So. Yeah. <laughs> and then he can only price inside. Yeah. So we shouldn't go there during the time that you're there because you want to be. Oh, you could. It doesn't matter. There might be more than one person to talk oh. to and stuff. But I mean, when, this is an important thing because then we can hear where the. Scott Hosher's on yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. And also, I mean, t to listen to people because, I mean, keep in mind, you're going to get an earful from some drivers too, where they find the pinch points with bikes are. And, you know, that tells us where accommodation needs to be made. I mean, these are things you want to be heard by. Is there person. anybody in particular that, like, for example, if my neighbor wanted to send a letter to the county, is there anyone that would actually read it? Yeah. Letter sure. or email or about anything. yeah, email, letter or something, just she, voicing her concerns. What, her, what would be her concern? Her concern is her fear of riding her bicycle from our road to town. And I don't that's the thing, it's like I don't know if the county would even think that of any enough issue, but okay. I'm just saying, would address that to the uh, county transportation department. It would eventually yeah. go to Scott Hosher. And Jill Merrick. And, in Jamaica. Sure, sure, and, Jamaica. Jamaica. Right. and then also maybe um, do a little Zoom link or join one of the bike ped uh, meetings for the county and then you'll here at the take city. Public. That way she's on record too. Yeah. Take public so, comment. There'll be public comment. Yeah, because yeah, she's yeah. always, every time I see her, she's always like complaining about the tracks. Well, she's no, no, we'll have it more people that you have joined those and kind of raise the stink about it, you know. The more they're going to take notice of it, the more they're going to want to seek action so that way they don't have that negative point in those meetings. But you're preaching to the choir. To be honest, you know, yeah, it's yeah. kind of like yeah. it takes money to fix these things. Right. And right. when I tell you, also, uh, this committee looking at Milwaukee and Clackamas Town Center, that were priorities. Yeah. For priorities <laughs> I'm kind of going, crap, it didn't leave us anything to solve one yeah. problem. Yeah, but you're also, think, you're also talking about areas that are already uh, pretty well developed, whereas on, on the roads that, on our outlined roads, need to be more developed as well. So if you do go into these meetings and you do start raising questions and raising some eyebrows, mm -hmm. they're going to want a lot of money to address these issues. Yeah, I just feel like a big, a big part of it is kind of like at what point are you know, like where I am, just a little bit outside of town, at what point are we no longer going to be considered past rural? Because I feel like rural areas are not going to be given those kinds of... Yeah, well, and also, I mean, you know, one of the things is that when things are raised and all, then, then they start doing traffic counts and yeah, that sort of thing, too. And uh, crash incidents and... They'll, they'll start putting metering devices out to your traffic flow and and they, they just weigh out the cost of uh, the need to it to uh, how much traffic there is. I would like to weigh in the frustration that you just out of town and not getting much treatment. Well, most of the areas in Milwaukee 
like this down the center area, they're not in any city. Yeah, they're and they're unincorporated. Happy Valley. Yeah, you got it. Or Happy Valley now is incorporated. But anyway, it's it's that's why yeah. they are volumes and higher numbers of people. Yeah. And I do understand your concern because a lot of these places have become no man's lands because they're unincorporated, the cities haven't brought them in, but the county wants the city to bring them in and you know mm -hmm. to keep their maintenance dollars down. And you know, yeah. so and the county started trying to provide city services. Um, so also the other place she can make sure she is active with um, is the comprehensive plan and uh, citizen input um, for the city of Canby also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Know. Real quick, sorry to change the topic. Who takes the minutes? Uh, Do they, she uh, you rotate. Oh, you rotate. You rotate now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can I grab your email real quick? Fine. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. unfortunately, I don't want to stay on uh, oh. So I need to grab your email so I can possibly get those emails to me. Yeah, well, I think they will be emailed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, to, right? You'll. Yeah. Uh, I send them to Mindy and she kind of does a review. And then I send them out to her at each meeting. Okay. But yeah. if you want something for before. For some reason, I have it there too. I've been sending them. Do I have, I have their wrong email in here? Let's check. They were just sent today. I don't like. What's up? Uh, have you been using those that I send you out? Like, hey, we have meetings. Yeah. So also, you know, I have like group and outlook. Yeah. 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 I get yours. I have them. I see yours. We are considering. Oh, shit. Why we haven't been. Somebody's getting yeah. something. Yeah. I have no idea what this is. No. It's going to Maldonado, Capital Beach, at canbyoregon.gov. I'll have to look at my laptop. I think that's the right one, though. I believe that is the right one. With the capital H. Capital H. Capital M. Yeah, it's not even one of my spam. Yeah, it's just Mindy on there and it sends it to spam. Yeah. It's <laughs> flagged. Yeah, it's flagged immediately. Yeah, there's a reason for that. <laughs> okay, uh, well, unfortunately, I do apologize. I do have to run to my next meeting. Okay. Um, I would love to get yeah. more on the uh, situation with Mindy and with yours, especially. Is that we need to figure a safer option out. It's just, I, I don't Yeah, because that's just an example of one person. Yeah. Well, I've, you're not the only person I've ever heard from. Oh, really? But okay. knowing that it is becoming more prevalent, it is kind of bothersome. And we as a city, we need to step in and take care of that. We need safety all around. So, um, Canby's one of the most sought after places to live, and I'll keep that way. Safety is definitely up there. So. Hi, Mindy. Before we let you go, is there anything um, on the soccer thing that's, that's still that's still way up in the air? Yeah, I, I yeah. wouldn't even worry about it. It's I, just I, I more think. an exploratory Correct. stage. In a right, very right now, story. everyone is actually a, well, not everyone. A lot of people are, are against the current location because of how far out of city it is. Where, where is it? The Malala River State Park. Well, right now, I might have ran some to play soccer and yeah. drove to Hillsboro on Sunday, drove to, you know. Yeah. <laughs> right now, you're, the, the people who have kids that are playing, they're driving a heck of a long ways already. Mm -hmm. And they, they, at that level, they don't have any games here. Well, I'd like, I, I, what, we're, what I'd like to see happen is something more centralized in town. So that way, it's close it's to all the businesses, it keeps, it keeps business. the connectivity. Yeah. Instead of going that far out of town where, Oh, now you, now you got all this traffic showing up on a road that you really don't need all that traffic showing up. And on Territorial Holly. Yeah. Through that intersection. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also on the Malala River Watch. In fact, I could be a work member. Um, oh, cool. Congratulations. Yeah. One concern that was raised there was you have the uh, Blue Heron Brokery down there, and now you're putting all these lights up. Yep. And that's going to possibly disturb those birds. And that is something and we're looking into as well. They did, he did bring that up in, our, in the meeting. Um, he's going to be looking at some enviro environmental impacts that are, uh, mm -hmm. that are possibilities. So, and the blue herring was one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm personally not liking the location. I just don't think it's a good fit. Uh, I believe that it would be more. 
it would just be smarter to have it in, in town anyways. Mm -hmm. Because you bring the, all the business into town, they can just leave and go to all the businesses that they want to go to. Yes. And then whenever the hotel comes in that we're wanting to bring in, they can just go straight to their hotel. They don't have this, this drive through town and through residential areas to get to a hotel. Too yeah. bad they didn't, you know, too bad that Quarry went in between on the Barlow Flats there because that could have been a nice location. I'm even thinking somewhere uh, near Baker Prairie would be okay. Be nice. Where the soccer fields are already located mm -hmm. at, it doesn't have to be a huge sports complex, and something a little smaller than their rendition, but it would still be centralized and bring a whole heck of a lot of business. Mm -hmm. My biggest criticism I don't want to see the city building a field network system mm -hmm. for the uh, more elite players are coming out, coming into town. Yeah, is this should be for the kids more in town. And they're served first. It, and it would right. be primarily, that is something that is exactly what we've said. It is going to be primarily for the city of Canby and for our citizens. However, we are going to be able to uh, to have other teams come in and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, instead of having. Well, that, that's having what them. I was talking about, because now the kids, they have to, there's just, there's no facility here. No. You know, there is facilities up to that. You know, like the third grade, fourth grade, a couple eighth grade. Yeah. Well. What? Other teams are. Refusing. Well, yeah, but I mean, my grandson's playing there, and he's he's in the he's gonna be in the seventh grade, and there's absolutely no. And he plays soccer. You said. Yeah. Is he going to the one down in? He's uh, going. He's, he's, he's in one in Oregon Trail or okay. Willamette or something. It's it's out of Oregon City. There's an indoor one down there as well, just mm -hmm. shortly uh, just shortly past that off of two twenty four. Um, it's a really nice one. My son was going to have in eighth grade. Um, but yeah, I, I would like to see something more centralized and handy for the kids to play on and, and play with, and that they would have constant access to. You know, yeah. it, it would be open like a park would be, you know, dusk to dawn or uh, dawn to dusk, and it would just make more sense to do it that way, I believe. And it would bring much more people into, t into town. and. As we are ever growing, uh, it just brings more eyes onto what we uh, to offer as a city. But yeah, the cost of commercial, industrial properties mm -hmm. and, and development. Then that was the other. We were also looking at at the old Amazon location as well. Yeah. You mean the uh, craft center? Is it thing? enough? It, I'm not sure. Yeah. Which I'm one is sure. which one was supposed to be the Amazon? Is it the one in the one on the town? Yeah. So, oh, yeah. it passed yeah. Yeah. But uh, the other side, we did do that one. It would be enough, I believe. Um, parking would be a little different, but um, we've already discussed that it's definitely not going to be the location. Or I'm hoping that it could definitely not be the location that we are currently have in front of us. Um, but from my understanding, also, the building costs and everything wouldn't actually be from Canby. So that, that's also a big plus, because um, then we could possibly change some of the rendering, renderings that they have to suit our needs as well. Well, and a lot of times, hopefully, you get benefit. You know, even if you build a nice complex, hopefully there's some spillover. And I, I can't speak to that. I don't know what that looks like. Yeah. Yeah, I know that's a lot that's of something that's definitely play can be. that's something that's definitely on our top shelf of topics right now because it's definitely something I think it's going to be super beneficial for us. So, so they're not talking about soccer fields off territorial. No, not that I've heard. So that's been that that was a year and a half ago, two years ago. That that was before. Yeah. The dog park was last year. That was the big hot topic last year. <laughs> I poured over a little this year. I was a champion in knocking that one out. <laughs> I was not having that one one bit. I wouldn't mind a dog park, but not for a million dollars. That just doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. It doesn't compute. But I'm just looking what to do with that property. Which one? The one right? Uh, the wayside. Uh, wayside Park. The Wayside Park? Yeah. Which is. Basically, near the dog park was for yeah. and all of that. Open I, I that honestly think that that's uh, the city has pretty not, not the city, the citizens have pretty much stated that they want to leave that as is. 
as an office star mark, or as an office oh. star run. You know. Oh. Yeah, that's that's pretty much been the input that I've received. Okay. And well, just because of the openness of it, the beauty of it, but whether it's going to be able to turn into anything right now, it's not been discussed. I'm not saying that it couldn't be an option. It just looks like a prime place for field sports fields to me. It would be a nice location, except in my opinion, I still believe that's a little bit further away from the city hub than it should be. And I think that there's also um, problems with the environmental impact mm -hmm. on the creek there and the river. It's, I think that was one of the reasons that they didn't explore that. I think it was to do with uh, the river and Something? yeah, it's the state. Wildlife, there was something yeah. in there. It was, there is something in there. They, they, they couldn't, they, they're, they're a big part of that they couldn't do much with. Yeah. Well, across the street, there's a little creek, which is not considered. Yeah, but it, it does go through. So there, yeah. There's a lot of, I think the last time we checked, yeah. it was like 400 acres or 40 acres or something. Some, yeah. Somewhere in those numbers, 40 acres of wetlands that couldn't be touched. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Okay. So I will get with. You yes. primarily, and then yep. we'll go from there, and then we'll try to communicate yeah. through email. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then the next meeting will be. Yeah. Well, even though we we haven't done that yet, the end of the day, yes. And then I'll be able to catch up. And I know she'll have it. I just jot it down. Oh, you don't know often. Okay. No, I, I don't know. Yeah, that that's okay. Um, what I am going to be doing this weekend is I am but connecting I'll... my personal email with my uh, uh, county email or my city email. So that way, I'm not missing a beat. Yeah, I know it's yeah. missing a lot, uh, so I'm going to try to nail that down. Uh, however, I will get with you, yeah. and you can minutes and I you. Uh, yeah. Make sure that I email yeah. you directly as well, and uh, that we have everything back in check. Yeah. All right. I apologize, yeah. guys. Thank you for having me today. And I'm really interested in the well, Main Street design. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you're sure You're a I part of this, so. All right. You're a part of us, so. Well, I'm, I'm going always. to do my best to do better than yeah. what I did. Yeah. So, <laughs> we appreciate <laughs> that. Absolutely. Thank you guys take care of yourselves. Yeah. Be safe. Thank, Thank, you. Again. Thank you. Thank you. All. See you soon. Yeah. Yeah. Good to see how, how, how great that house has come along, though. Yeah. Did you see a change in it today? I haven't been outside today other than come here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> take a look. Turn around and talk it out. All right. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> you guys take care. Okay. Bye. You too. Um, so. Uh, and uh, repaving the MFR yeah. uh, thoughts on well, and I look what, what oh, repaving the logging. It, it's yeah. I mean, it's. I think we need to get Jerry in here and have a discussion. Yeah. yeah. I know when he does roads, he has a, a device. That says, oh, this is really bad. This is okay. Yeah. And I think, you know. The logging road should be looked at, and because that's certainly a capital improvement, and, and, and you know, it's if it's determined it needs to be done now, it's the way it's going to be done because it's, it'll it, it, you're going to have to get get yeah, you get five to line. seven years, yeah, whatever. So, so I think it really needs to be looked at. There's places I don't even like to ride my bike on it now. Oh, it's, really? it's rough, and there's places that are fine. Is off the top of your head, is there a certain section that you would say right off 13th is really bad? Yeah. The part between 13th and the school. But if you get on that and it just is like, yeah. oh, is it the tree roots from timber? No, it's just the paving is really rough. rough. Um, okay. It's, it's it scary. Like that. It feels is like it that shit. It, no. it feels like that it's ship's stuff. Like it's ship's seal. Like worse than ship's ship seal. Yeah, yeah. yeah ship's seal. Seal. It's oh. interesting because we, when we were on Vancouver Island, we they have these wonderful bike trails, and some of them are not paved. But the unpaved ones are actually smoother than that paved one. Mm -hmm. wow. And because they're like this hard packed kind of sandy, small gravel stuff, and really smooth. So it's like. Anyway, let's see Jerry here. Get so, again with this. Get, get on his his radar. Yeah. So I can, what really I'm trying to say. I can shoot Jerry an email and see what he says. Yeah, yeah, just okay. see yeah. if it's in the queue right. anywhere right. or if we should there's consider there's getting it. Somebody had spray painted 
Oh shit. <laughs> 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 right on the hump, you know. Did you say that was on a tree root? No, 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 it was on the, 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 on the road. I mean, oh. oh, yeah. Like a hump, like over like this on the road. Yeah, isn't there some by Fred Meyer, too, that's huh? pretty bad? Right. But I mean, somebody took the time to stop mm -hmm. right there. So, they happen to have a spray paint. I just chuckled. Yeah, I got spray paint. Yeah. Yeah. It was a tiger. Oh, <laughs> I was riding my bike, it's very neat. <laughs> and, uh, so, moving on, any uh, comments on development, sidewalks, anything coming up? Okay. I'm just, I was wondering then, uh, about the South Ivy project. Yeah. It's pretty much. Have to remind me more, sorry. Um, you know, the main river right here, yeah. about yeah. 711. Uh, that's what about it. Can you go see a curved sidewalks all the way from 99E yeah. to I'm what? I'm glad I was scheduled to get done this year. Oh, I have to ask my name. I don't say about that. All the way out to about 13th. To the edge of town? Yeah. 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 From 99E to 13th. I don't know about that, but I will ask. Um, so, I have been. Be, uh, mentioned it somewhat. So last city council meeting, so just a little over a week ago, they approved funding to start the designs, to start evaluating designs for Pine and Fourth. Or oh, sorry, Pine and 99. So that intersection okay. by the Beardown. So oh, I'm oh. working on how they can improve the safety of that. Because and then they approved funding to pave um, Northeast 10th. I don't know. Oh, really? They, yeah. They have made yeah. And they're going to put sidewalks on one or two sides of the camp. Emma? Yeah. Ivy Street, which is what we were talking about. Yes. It's been several so years since we've been in the planning. Yeah, it should be. Where, 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 where are they breaking ground? I don't, I don't know. I haven't heard anything yeah. about it. So that's I that's kind of where we're at. Because they started by putting sidewalks by the. Uh... Perfect. No, I'm talking about South Ivy. Ivy. They, they put, uh, what's the name of the school there? Uh, me? Yeah, they, they put sidewalks there, and then they stopped because they decided to, to put utilities underground. Oh, I see. So it's more of that. And that's maybe what's moving things off. It could be because I don't see any work no, on. I thought they're all they're doing all the digging. I don't think. I thought it was going to be done this year, but uh, yeah. no, it's not going to be done this year. And we're still waiting for 99. <laughs> <laughs> See what else they dig up. <laughs> and, and there was a point at which Jerry had a pretty good uh, relationship with the county at getting things rolling on there. And so they did have some um, some momentum, and now it does look like okay, it's going to stop. Okay, go back to 10. What, what's, what's the status? What's the projection on 10? Uh, they just got the, so I guess the designs for 10th have been done for a, a bit of time, but they're, I don't know if we've been a little bit now that that's been sitting there, but they just got funding approved for construction, but I don't know when that. Where in 10th? Um, north of the fairground, I don't know exactly how long, but I do know how long the fairground. No, I don't think it's going to be extended the time. At the east end? Yeah. Hmm. Cool. One come anywhere near my house. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a couple of as well. Uh, okay, and uh, any discussion on hot spots this month from anyone? If not, can I circle back really quick? Sure. The county of food. Uh, the fairground, mm -hmm. which I was kind of considering so, outreach. So, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So we can. That's you. Yeah. That's that's you. Okay. <laughs> okay. I will write that down. Um, All right. So for um, if we if I do a post on that, is there any link that I should include? Yeah. Like, I will um, include email. you when I reach out to. Um, Scott for my sign up on my uh, when I email Scott Holsher signing up for my shift, shift 
Um, I will kind of do the little intro. I'll CC everyone in case anyone's interested in working a shift there. Um, but what if? So, but what about just information? Yeah, and, 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 and I will also if people want to stop yeah. by. Where, where yeah. is the booth going to be? And. You know where the restrooms are? Yes. All right. Good. <laughs> it's always good to know that. It's important that the county is going to have a tent to the east of that a little bit. So oh, behind, the car, it's behind the carnival area. Outside the building? It's outside the building. And this is the county bike and pedestrian mm -hmm. advisory committee. Yeah, it's, it's, it's walk and bike. It's, what do they call it? Advisory committee, or uh, is it for the walk bike plan? Yeah, it's walk bike plan. Is it, is it what it's mostly for? Yeah, that's what it's called. Blackwoods County walk bike plan. Although we get some. The, I was just thinking, I was wondering what the... Okay, the county fair is August 15th to the 19th. Mm -hmm. uh, county Transportation Department will be hosting a walking and biking table in collaboration with our Traffic Safety Division Safety Street. The walking biking table will have high-level information on the white back walk bike plan project. Safe routes to school and bicycle safety and other relevant information. Is that something that you'd be able to email? So yes, like I will email you. Okay. So or, that, or at least the pertinent parts. Yeah, uh, perfect. Details and I'm kind of looking for an email questions on this. to help it. Okay. And, yes. and, and so that's. I think that would be better than my trying to just scribble everything down. Yeah, for sure. sure. And right now I'm not seeing anything. So it's ah. So between the both of you then if you send me what should be posted, I said the, the pertinent information to post, mm -hmm. that would be helpful. Other than there's gonna be a booth <laughs> by the mm -hmm. <laughs> They're looking for public input for they're looking for. Mm -hmm. and that's okay. that's the purpose of it. Yeah, so that would be perfect. And if you're able to get that to me by, well, I guess by before the start of the fair. <laughs> so, <laughs> so many people. What? How long are the shifts? Okay. Uh, Four hours. Something like that. 10 to 1, it said the email I just so looked at. Scott told me 10 to 2 today. Do you get free entrance to the fair? Yeah, I do. And parking. And parking. And parking. I've been looking for it to come in the mail any day now. Means we're working on it? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, I I just said notice item number three, um, and I just forgot okay. it to you. Great, so. thanks. Okay. Um, Is there more though that you? Yeah, that I will. I should see. wait for before posting. Okay. So um, and Bruce, any further on the county? We talked about the Courtney Avenue complete streets. We talked about McLaughlin Boulevard improvement plan, community paths plan, um, and the walk bike Clackamas plan. That was the main thing we talked about tonight. I think that's we covered that. Hot spots didn't do anything. Um, there was one more thing this night.
you remember last month I talked about Highway 211 that they were going to be putting rebel strips into the shoulder? Yes. Okay. Kind of. Okay. Well, when we did our bike ride, when we went from Winston to Bandit on Highway 40. 42, the rumble strip on the state highway was in the line. And we were telling, oh no, this is this is the way it's done. It's their standard is to do it into the shoulder of ways. And so we're in the process of I brought that up in the end of the meeting and we're gonna write a letter to OGOT telling them to change the standard. And here they're already doing it that way. They were putting it on the fog line. They're putting it on Good. the fog line. No, where that's what we're asking for. Yeah. And change their standard. So anyway. I don't know how much that relates the most, the thing that relates the most, besides the walk by advisory stuff. Yeah, on those downhills, you, have, you know, you had a little rebel strip and the brake and the rebel strip, and you, yeah. you're, you're trying to see it so you can go where the brake is. Otherwise, you go, oh, On 42, we had a pretty good shoulder, and the strip was Not on the fog line and say they had a lot of room. Not if you're going to pass somebody that, that you're approaching well, really you know, fast. You just, you know, you did, you and name it, that's all. <laughs> you also think about those rumble strips for people who aren't locked into their pedals. You know, it can throw you no, right they're, off they're their vicious. pedals and everything. I mean, and it has no idea what we're talking about. I do. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> At right. 20 miles an hour, they really throw you around. Yeah. That fast uh, one other thing that I did not have on here is uh, um, I think. Uh, we should be looking at, uh, I just started my term again, as many of us did just restart. And um, so maybe next thing we should talk about a new chairperson. Um, and I am, as my our parents are aging and I'm getting older, and it's closer to retirement. It's Get a little harder to get through my work day. So, if anyone's interested in um, doing so, uh, great. If not, I, I can still well, think about it, but I mean, we can talk about it at a future. You're talking about getting older, and three of us here are already older than you. I know, <laughs> <laughs> but you are retired. Oh, I still work. Yeah, <laughs> you so, Anyway, but yeah. So anyway, we can talk about it later. Um, and otherwise, let's look at. Uh, what, what, when does uh, when does Jeff Springer's turn in? I think he just reacted. Did he? He said he wasn't he was going to. Form of any of this. He said what? He said he wasn't going to. He wasn't going to. No. Oh no. Well, yeah, you remember we talked about that. Oh, oh you weren't on that bike ride. Right? I guess not. Oh. Yeah. Well, no, because there were very few people who had been writing on Tuesday nights. Oh. Yeah, hardly any. Some nights it was one or two. I did years. post a write on Facebook. I saw it. I see it. I kept going, yeah, but we get to this meeting. <laughs> well, no, you know, you know, next week. Yeah. Um, well, so I, I assumed that he would say something, but maybe even from maybe he did, he changed his mind. As of last week, he said he wasn't going to react. Hmm. He wants, to do, he, wants, he wants to do uh, uh, work with his uh, church. He, you know, he doesn't. He, um, I think he's, he's got like one extra activity, work, golf, um, <laughs> cycling, and then one extra thing. And, yeah. and, uh, well, we'll have to check and see. And Is that kind of thing? Um, so, no. oh, okay. oh, I will not be here uh, next. I'll be gone for most of the month in September. Um, As will I. You'll be gone? I'll be gone half the month. You're yeah, going to be gone half the month. It's a question, of when, a question of when you leave. I, I think the next it's second like Tuesday is the 11th. I leave the 12th. And I leave the, it's the 12th. The 12th. It's the 12th. It's the 12th. Yeah, we the both return around the 12th. 20th. Yes, exactly. So, <coughs> should we, we not have enough so no one's here. Cliff is. <laughs> I'm Corin? No. Maybe Jeff will be. Well, I, I would. Oh, I, and Mike is supposed to do minutes. 
I would prefer not to have to come because I will have just gotten back from Orlando. On the Shall we look at October? Yeah. The 10th of October? Uh, October 10th? I'll be gone. You'll be gone? Mm hmm. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, Belgium. Oh. The oh, yeah. And, and, and we've got that place in Bruges yeah. you need to check out. You might want to check out. It's right. Yeah. Okay. A little hard to find. So, hard to find, that's half the fun. So, um, October 10th work yeah. for most of the rest. Yeah. Okay. Um, Tuesday, October 10th. All right. I do have some more things. And. Otherwise, 6.30, great. And, great. Oh, while people are adding things to their calendar, I was given um, a date for the... Oh, the comprehensive plan. The comprehensive plan, plan yeah. the first kind of like big Thursday, August No, 18? September 14th. It's a and Thursday. It's a, oh, September. Yeah, September, which sounds like most people will be gone. But if you are or want to tell folks, September 14th, 6 o'clock at the police station, it'll end up being information online. But that's going to be the first big public event for the cop plan. September 14th. Okay. September 14th. Okay. Probably gone. <laughs> yeah. Tell your well, friends. You can zoom. <laughs> zoom. 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 Kind of yeah, I don't know exact the exact um, like facilitation or exactly how the meeting is going to be hosted, but that is the first like, hey everybody, in can be come out and tell us your opinions on you know what what do we want can be to look like for the next twenty years? What's on our yeah, so, that would be and that includes you know people that, that that would be good oh. for your neighbor. So you don't have to live with it. Okay. And that's the county police station. Yeah. And so fly. Okay. Waiting anxiously. Not anxiously. Just wait. Great. Okay, jump in? Sure. Forgot. Uh, an ongoing project for the, the county was to create bicycle maps. Oh. And they're done. And yeah, I, I have a two. You sure already got some. And have you yeah. done all the routes on the map? No, no, I've done a lot. Are they all super safe? No. Okay. <laughs> don't do that. They're safe as we And I, well, I looked over them and I go, this is wrong. This is wrong. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. And, and they're going to do it. Um, let's see, what? Like this road. Vir that virtually, right? and we're going to be able to uh, change, change those things. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I already talked to Scott. That's one of the things I've talked to him about. I said, oh, you got several errors. So I'm not surprised. <laughs> they should have had you edit it. Yeah, he's a good editor. Well, you know what they probably did? They probably went to Google Maps and didn't route that way. I don't know. Because I, I was trying to figure out how long it would take us because we were going to meet somebody at the whiskey little store for breakfast. And I, I, I wanted to figure out kind of how, how far it was. And we're going to offer you Yeah, it was 50. But, yeah, yeah. Here, here, here. Road doesn't connect. Anyway, it, it had us going, you know, going out of I-8 all the way across on Mount Elder to Barlow, and going to Barlow all the way down and then, then across. No, no. <laughs> we're not going. No, that's we're not going that way. <laughs> no, no. I just read that. Our place is 9.6 miles. Yeah. I just read that the um, manager of not. No. No, he, he was the an manager of ski wall? Yeah, he was, yeah, also an ex controller. Yeah, yeah. So sad. That car was pulling out, making a left turn, and uh, it didn't yield, I guess. Yeah, I didn't know what the specifics were. This is the current ski wall manager? Yeah, yes. Because yeah. the previous one, the other man, the guy had two young boys. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't tend to point those things out to my wife. 
But she, she pointed out to me. I don't know. I was friends with the old. Um, yeah. You should have gotten I had that one of those caps. Okay. Well, there will be available, additional copies will be available at the booth. Okay. Yeah. If you end up with any of these, what do you leave? Uh, the eight. Or at the end of the day, or it just puts on like downstairs or up here and, you know, the lawn. Coming out of the online, you're going to wear it. Okay. Straight up over it. Where it's basically. Where it's basically. Where it's basically. Oh, okay. And that's where you're. 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 Well, down yeah. in Genoa? Yeah. That's where the family is. Oh, yeah. And so on that. Are we in Genoa? Down in Chifatera? I don't think so. So, so I should. Are you getting any spinach or burger? Uh, <laughs> you want me to be talking all that down? <laughs> oh. I have, oh, okay. Are we adjourning? Are we adjourning? Where are we going? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 No, I, I think we better adjourn. Well, I want to point out What's that? Yes. 13. Approximately 13 percent of the population in the United States are left-handed. I think we're the way overrepresented in this meeting. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's about 33 percent. Wow. That's More than 33 percent. This meeting is too early. Faster and faster. You're left-handed. I make a motion. Okay. Is there a second? Well, there's more than two. Thank you. All in favor of adjourning? Okay, thank you all. <laughs> uh, meeting adjourned at 737. Uh,